So I'm back and you're just super in for a treat this week because I'm trying to do a video like every single day that I can when I'm off. And today, I know you're probably just so like, where is this girl in her shop bop because she doesn't do any more shop bop hauls. Well, um, I'm doing one right now and I haven't been actually shopping um, at shop bop in a long time, maybe like two or three months. So that's a big win for me because me and my shopping addiction problem, just I need to give it a rest and I need to give my bank account a rest. Um, but before I, my features are really exaggerated right now and my hair looks super voluminous. I was copying Michelle Fan's Angelina Jolie tutorial that she just put up and kind of messed up on the eyes, but you know, what are you going to do about it? I'm not really Angelina, but this is my best shot. So that's why I look a little crazy different with my red lips and stuff ready for fall. So anyways, um, I guess we'll start with this first thing. Um, I have two swimsuits, and y this is so crazy, but I haven't really gone swimming, like, at all this summer. Maybe just once, and that, when I was in Hawaii, that was, I wouldn't even call it swimming. I was, like, in the water, but I wasn't swimming. But anyways, I brought this to Hawaii, which you probably saw in my, um, Maui photos when my mom and I went to Hana, and... I wore this underneath a romper, it was actually a Marc Jacobs romper, and this is what I took in the caves, and this is actually by Mara Hoffman, and I am in love with her designs. Um, if you're not familiar with her, she's also California-based West Coast designer, kind of along the same lines as Rebecca Taylor, um, Cynthia Rowley, um, Michelle Mason, just very girly and different um, geometric patterns, and I, what really sold me was this cut right there. Um, it's a one piece, of course, and I love this very um, triangle, triangular upside down cut. And it has this detachable, um, what do you call this, strap that you don't really need. Um, but for support, since this is really low, I like to wear it anyways. And let me just show you the back because the back is really cool too. It has um, just this buckle, I mean, yeah, this strap right here, and has a low U-shaped back all the way to your behind. And I love this print. I don't know if you think it's crazy or a little bit teenage-ish, teenager but I think that the colors, the neon colors, um, the purple, the lime green, this Egyptian bird um, looking thing, and just the neon, every, all the reviewers were saying it looks really good against tan skin, which it does. So I think um, if you can find a Mara Hoffman anything, then um, you should pick it up because her stuff's really rare that it goes on sale. And of course I got this on sale. Actually, she was featured on this season's, one of the episodes on America's Next Top Model College Edition where they did a charity fashion show. So you might have seen her there. Those were all of her swimwear designs too. She does mostly like casual and um, resort stuff. So. That is that swimsuit. And then the other swimsuit is by a designer that I've never heard before, but um, I thought that when they were priced so high and um, everyone was just snatching up her pieces on sale that it might be a good designer to watch out for. And I think I was correct because this swimsuit, I got it for the color. It, I'm pretty sure you're going to think it's plain and boring and old lady like but this looks really tiny on camera, which it is. I got it for the ruching, and I love how everything's covered up, but it's still that really demure, sexy kitten. And this is actually called the Marilyn, and um, it's this perfect timing because the Marilyn Monroe collection for MAC, if you follow that, comes out tomorrow, too. Um, MAC counters everywhere, so I'm super excited. Wait, today's Tuesday. No, Thursday. It comes out Thursday, sorry. But it was it's actually available online, so to go along with the whole Maryland theme, this is super um defines her as well. It has this like sweetheart neckline kind of and this strap that's also detachable. Um this button I didn't really care for. I think it looks kind of weird and just weird because <laughs> it looks like very um what do you call it? Just very tribally, which is not really Lauren's, I mean, Lauren, Marilyn style at all. But the ruching is, I love it's just a simple cut, and in the back, the ruching continues all over. I feel like I should have gotten a small, because even this extra small is really, really tight on me. Um, but just to show you what um, the brand looks like, it says it's designed in Hawaii, but 
made in Bali. So that's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever had anything that's made in Bali. But that's just her signature right there, Tori Praver. And then um, this is her tag right there. So really, really cute um, logo. So I can't wait to wear that when I actually get to go swimming or lay out and tan. Cat attack the world because I don't know about you, but sometimes people are afraid to use to wear hats because they don't know like if their face shape or head is gonna look good in it. And I didn't know this before, but my I have a really abnormally large head, like a large oval head. And um, there, these hats, this hat that I got is a one size fits all. And this designer, um, Eugenia Kim, is the brand of the hats, and she has really really cool designs. Lots of different shapes and colors that something like movie stars would wear, celebrities like that are traveling the world in Asia, they would wear this. She, um, but I got this, well I wanted the other hat but it was already taken so this was the next best thing and it was on sale. I think this is only like 40 bucks or something and I just love it because of the sash and you don't really see this sash too often. Um, it is a basic fedora, fedora straw hat and you can find fedora anywhere but um, I love how it's just a very, very bold fuchsia stripe all around the brim. And this a sash, it's not removable, I don't think. But I love it because it looks very Asian inspired. And um, just to show you up close, it just reminds me of like Japanese or, yeah, Japanese, like geisha, sarongs, print. It's just really pretty and it just reminds me of cherry blossom anything. So. I wear this a lot on casual days, so I don't really feel like doing my hair. Like the other day it was raining all day long and I wore this with a just a plain navy and white striped sweatshirt. So just days like that you can still um, transition summer pieces into the fall like um, if you pair it with sweaters. So dress. This is super long and huge. I just like when I got it I didn't expect it to be this big but it is made out of fine yarn. Um, I, the reason why I got it is for the colors and I, I always check my scarf collection before I buy any more scarves because I'm like if I have that color then I don't need to waste my money and get something else but fortunately I didn't and I feel like this is a multi-purpose scarf. This is by the brand Theodora and Callum. Um, I've seen them a couple times on online shopping sites. Sometimes they'll put their scarves there but that's what they're mostly known for, Theodora and Callum. And I first got introduced to TC by um, Gossip Girl, actually, Blake Lively wears a lot of her, their scarves, the, the duo scarves on the show. And um, not to get a little sidetracked, but this is the last season for, uh, for Gossip Girl. And better, best be known, I'm going to be watching the fashion like a hawk because it's just goodbye to Upper East Side style and downtown cool. But anyways, getting back to this haul, this scarf, I just love how Aztec-y it looks, a perfect trend on for the summer. And I love how the orange and the pinks and the reds, the quirls, just everything about it just screams summer. And um, I'm sure I've gotten a lot of compliments when I wore it too. She's like, where did you get your scarf? And I'm like, online. But this is actually to show you the tag. Really, really cute um, label, Theodore and Callum. So... You can really wear this like a dress too if you wanted, and if you got really creative, you could wear it like a skirt. And I'm sure if you want, if you knew how to style it correctly, maybe even wear it with boots or like fringe anything, it, it would look really, really cute. Really gotten clutches in actually forever. Um, I get all of mine either from DSW or TJ Maxx because they're really cheap. I don't really like going to Forever 21 or if I can help at H&M because everyone gets their clutches there and then after a while it just gets redundant and you don't really like seeing what you have on every, everyone else's body. So um, I got this clutch by the brand Mason Scotch. I feel like I have had something from Mason Scotch before but this is the packaging that it came with. It's really really slim and chic like I feel like I'm buying a Cartier like timepiece or something like this box is just out of this world like really crazy gifted um, and that's the the website right there if you want to check them out but if just to show you what I got it is this red envelope clutch the leather is really really soft and buttery and that is the reason why I got it um I feel like you can never go wrong with an envelope clutch it's kind of another timeless clutch piece like shape that 
along with sequins or glittery, it will never go out of style. Like I know you've seen some crazy clutch colors and crazy um, clutches with spikes and other ad adornments and what have you, but I feel like the envelope style, as much as I have a lot of that similar shape in my closet, it will definitely not go out of style. And what's also really cute about this is that there's a little, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a, like a little cobweb, like it reminds me of Charlotte's web right there. Um, and I wore this actually to my best friend Rachel's brother's um, Indian wedding because red is um, one of the colors for um, the celebration theme is red, pink, silver, stuff like that. And so I paired this perfectly with my outfit. I should have done like an outfit of that day because it took me like years to get ready. But I brought this clutch and it's not, doesn't really have a shape. It's really, really flimsy as you can see. But the inside is really nice and cool too. It reminds me of a little um, disco party, New Year's Eve going on. But it just says um, Mason Scotch La Femme Salon Marie. And then it says Depuis 1977. So it's obviously French and um, it's just really cute and fun. Like I feel like this and like Betsy Johnson clutches are so cute and you can just like wear it with anything and it'll spice up and look make out, out make any outfit look really young. So I really I'm not probably gonna wear that or use the cloth, but that's if you want to clean, I guess. It's just a basic um, two-piece dark gray it'll never grow out of style again it's just a classic um, sleeping shorts in a size small and then the top is actually a long sleeve which I really really like and um, yeah this is a small I think I should have an extra small would have been good but um, I've actually already tried it on it just has the um, long sleeve it's a button-up collar um, it has the buttons and then just really really long sleeve so it's just a, a sleeping set, but I feel like when you're in school so much, the high school, college, you don't really have um, like a set sleepwear set. Or maybe I, it's just me, but I feel like a lot of girls in their in their 20s or teens, they just wear whatever they have in their athletic closet space. So they'll wear like Nike Tempo shorts with like a beat up spring break t-shirt 2008 shirt. And I just feel like getting older, you should try to match more and I'm not saying you should go out and buy like expensive hundred dollar lingerie or silk <laughs> silk sleeping pajamas but I think like a good coordinate um, like this dark gray sleep set is really good to have especially when you're traveling on trips and you don't really want people to see you in your ugly undergarment so that's why I got that Okay, so we finally reached the point of the video where it's good. It's a 15 minute cap mark and it's the most exciting time that you'll have probably ever on my channel. Probably the only time you'll see anything designer. Well, actually you already did, but that was like forever ago. But I'm about to show you my trophy purse, my prized pride and obsession, joy, overjoy, loving to death. Gotta have this screaming professional going to be buried it in the ground when I die purse and this is I'm just going to validate it for you before you ask any questions I read in this book um, which I'll show you in another video it's called 30 things that that you should know by the time you're 30 or 30 things that you should have by the time you're 30 and one of them is actually a um, just an obnoxiously presumptuous purse that you're not afraid to to go out and buy because you feel like you've reached that climactic point or epitome in your career and you owe it to yourself because you've worked so hard. And I'm not saying I'm there yet, but I feel I I I found the purse that I wanted and I know that it's never ever going to be trendy, but it has a little bit of spice in it. So I did get a purse that combines all of those things into professionalism really um, portable, easy to use, just everything in one. And I went ahead and shelled out my cash for this um, 3.1 Philip Lim. And it's called the Pashley Satchel. They only had about like three, I think, or five on the ShopBot website. And of course they ship internationally. 
I was stocking this for months in my wish list and I was hoping no one would get it and then when they said there was only one left I was like oh my god I have it's like my baby slipping away like I can't let that happen like it has happened to me thousands of times before so I went ahead and just bit the bullet didn't buy anything for the rest of the month because that's how ridiculous it is but um, the reason why I got it was um, not because of how simple it is well, that too, and the color is nude, so that'll never go out of style. But um, if you open this so a lot, you can actually really see the detail, which this zipper, actually the model um, shows it better online, but the zipper expands like this. So picture the other side like that, and it's just like a trapeze style, really, really asymmetrical purse, um, where if you put a lot of things like your briefcase, pad fully, a laptop, um, it'll expand like that and it's just really really chic and simple and I kind of wish this came with a strap because I'm not really a type of person to to hold on my purses um, on a satchel like on my arm um, but this is really it's just gonna have to do but um, just to show you the inside it's really really spacious and um, luxurious I don't really know what that's made of it's probably made of some really hundreds of dollars thousands of dollars silk <laughs> not really but um, 3.1 Philip Lim is right there, and what is, I already took off the tag. Um, actually, no, I didn't. So even the tag feels like baby bottom soft, but um, that's why I got that. And I couldn't return it because this thing says that if you took it off, then you can. But not saying I'll return it, but just saying if I ever did change my mind about kicking myself for spending money like that, like no other than whatever but whatever makes you happy at the end of the day as long as you get your work done you just work hard and you play harder that's all I'm gonna say about that and um, it also came with a little dust bag which of course I was expecting it's really really nice um, I'm sure all nice purses like toy birch and stuff they come with that but the purse was inside of this so if you're not familiar with 3.1 Philip Lim it's um, probably one of the best designers in the world along with Alexander Wang and Helmut Lang so uh, but that is about wraps up my shop up video and I hope you guys had some really fun surprises and sneak peeks into the world of shop up lately because I know you've been dying to see that but um, I am almost done reaching the end of filming and my other videos I'm still need to process my shoe video and then I haven't gotten to the clothes yet and you're going to die when you see all the fall clothes and trends that I've um, accumulated over the month. So um, that and accessories and makeup, oh my gosh, haven't even touched yet. But um, definitely don't forget to check out SheCanLeapPad.com, my Facebook like page. Um, I try to update that more so than my blog just because it's easier. And then I'm also on Instagram and Pinterest. And, um, yeah, I think that's about it I need to tell you. So, um, have a great rest of the week. Hope it doesn't rain and that the sun is shining wherever you are. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.